Right, Hansen was here at district court just about a week ago when a judge ordered his release and we were there when he walked out of jail just a few hours ago. Mr. Hansen, do you have anything to say to Brittany and her family? Do you have anything to say? Did you do it? Do you have anything to say on these accusations? Complete silence as Justin Hansen walked out of Metro Detention Center. His release was delayed due to routine pretrial processing and ensuring the third party he'll be living with is fully approved by pretrial services. This afternoon, the news traveled to Texas where the woman he's accused of beating with a shovel is now living. A little overwhelmed. I was like, I think she was overwhelmed with it as well. Brittany Marcel was nearly beaten to death in 2008. Albuquerque police say the DNA of the accused attacker was found at the crime scene. Now we have to watch our backs once again. We mm -hmm. felt a little bit more at ease with him locked up. A district judge ordered Hansen's release under strict supervision until his trial. New Mexico law prohibits the courts from disclosing who and where he will be staying with, but he will be watched closely. All defendants who are ordered GPS monitoring, like Justin Hansen, will have to put on these ankle bracelets at all time during their release before their trial. Until then, the court says Hansen is innocent until proven guilty, something Brittany Marcel and her mom must grapple with as they wait for his trial. You never know what's going to happen, but all we can do is try our best to go on throughout our day. Now, a grand jury is set to review Hans's case later on this Friday. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Christine Pei, KOAT Action 7 News.